a startling display of political bravado, Zimbabwe's powerful army commander, Lt. Gen. Anselm Namo Sinyatwe, has boldly declared that the ruling ZANU-PF party will continue to rule the country until donkeys grow horns, regardless of the will of the people. Addressing a party rally in Nyanga North constituency, Sinyatwe, who is also ZANU-PF's candidate for the area, vowed that the military would use command voting to ensure the ruling party's victory in the upcoming elections. ZANU-PF will continue ruling until donkeys grow horns, Sanyatwe thundered to a roaring crowd. Whether you like it or not. Now, I am speaking as the army commander, we are going to use what is called command voting. The army boss is known for his controversial role in the tragic events of August 1, 2018, where six protesters and innocent bystanders lost their lives. He was deployed to quell the demonstrations demanding the prompt release of the 2018 election results. Sanyatwi's presence alone evokes deep emotions among the opposition and ordinary citizens alike. The subsequent Motlante Commission's investigation into the violence concluded that soldiers fired live ammunition indiscriminately, resulting in the deaths of six individuals and injuries to 35 others, including innocent bystanders and workers returning home. Despite the controversy surrounding his role, General Sanyatwi's ascent within the military ranks continued. He was twice promoted by President Menangagwa, attaining the position of the second-highest-ranking officer before being appointed as the country's ambassador to Tanzania. However, on October 20, 2023, Sinyatwe returned to the military and assumed the role of ZNA commander. During his address to the villagers, Sinyatwe concluded his speech with an emphatic slogan in support of President Menangagwa and ZANU-PF, while denouncing the opposition. This display of overt political partisanship raises further concerns about the military's interference in political affairs, potentially hindering the possibility of a peaceful transition of power. The Zimbabwean military's involvement in politics, particularly its support for ZANU-PF and certain party factions, has long been viewed as a significant obstacle to democratic change in the country. The continued influence of the military on the nation's political landscape poses a challenge to the principles of a fair and competitive electoral system.